sheets and dry sheets and all that. There seems to be a glitch, guys. I think there are time travelers amongst us. You know, you know what that means? Renee is here. And here we have Renee from the TMNT Mirage line. And she doesn't come only by herself. But she comes with a variant. And the variant is not Loki. It's another Renee. So, it's time to make the review. So let's begin. So let's begin. So let's begin. This is NECA TMNT Mirage Line, Renee. And this is NECA TMNT Mirage Line Signature Edition, Renee. Okay guys, this is the outer box of NECA TMNT Mirage Line, Renee. And it's a classic Mirage Line window box where you can clearly see the figure and some accessories there. Behind the figure, there's an artwork of what appears to be a building. Very cool, guys. Below, we can see in comic book writing, Eastman and Laird's TMNT, and of course, Renee with her comic book look. Checking out the first side of the box, we have Renee holding the Time Scepter, looking really cool. And below, we have again the letters Eastman and Laird TMNT. Now let's check out the back of the box and here we have some pictures of the figure assembled in a comic book like frame guys. Different ways that you can display her are shown here very cool guys. And below we have some other characters from the Mirage line like Utrum, Casey Jones and Fugitoid. Checking out the other side of the box we have Isman and Laird's TMNT letters. And on the middle you can see a small part of the figure, guys. And of course below we have Renee without her helmet. And we're back to the front of the box. Now let's check out the blister box, guys. Okay guys, here we have the blister box of TMNT Mirage Line Renee. And clearly you can see in more detail the figure, as well as the accessories. And we can see now in a much more detailed way the artwork that we could see on the back when we were doing the outer box and as I said it, it is a building there and now you can see more than the building you can see the street the street light and what appears to be some garbage being blown by the wind guys you can use these to pose your Rene figure or other figures now the time has come to check out the vanilla pose, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to check out the vanilla pose for Renee. She is the time tress or the time queen. And of course, she is part of the TMT Mirage line, Renee. And what stands out are those very, very cool little clocks. She has all over her leotard garment those little clocks very neatly sculpted there must be like around 40 mini clocks guys and they combine very nicely with the brown leotard we can also see little black lines around the clocks also she has two shoulder guards that are gray with black line guys her brown gloves with the yellow rings make her look a bit like Kayla, the neutrino. And the pink skin in the arms, torso and legs is very nicely painted. The brown boots make Renee look battle ready, guys. Speaking about the cape, it has nice soft fabric stitched all around the border. And the fact that the cape is wired will pave the way for some cool poses, guys. Can't wait to try them out. Lastly, but not least, 
Renee brings a detachable helmet. And of course, what she has under the helmet is a red cover for her head. Very cool. And you can see a little clock in the middle of the helmet, guys. Very nicely sculpted. And of course, the yellow and red patterns. Really, really cool. Very fantastic piece of artwork this helmet is, guys. The face is nicely sculpted and painted. And she has a focused expression. Like if she was concentrated on when she's going next, guys. Of course, she's a time traveler, so she has to focus. Don't want to end up on the wrong time, guys. So that's it for the vanilla pose of Renee. Now it's time to check out the articulation on this awesome figure, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to check out the articulation for Renee. And on this occasion, I will do the articulation without the helmet, as it keeps falling off, guys. So there she is, without the helmet, still looking absolutely fantastic. So let's start. The head moves down, moves up, very nicely, moves to the left, and moves to the right. The head also tilts very nicely to the left and also to the right. So that's it for head articulation, guys. Now let's check out the torso articulation. It does have an ab crunch. However, it is very, very stiff. And I obviously don't want to scratch those amazing little clocks, guys. And she doesn't have hip articulation. Now let's move on to the arm. The arm moves forward very nicely. The arm moves backwards just a bit. And as you can see, the arm moves out. The arm does have a shoulder cut, but I won't move it. I don't want to scratch the painting, guys. But she does have a double jointed elbow. So it moves like this. So you have to do it with extreme care to avoid chipping. And finally we have hand articulation. As you can see the hand can move down and up. And also we have here full rotation for the hand. Very nice. Now let's check out the leg articulation. Renee's leg moves forward. The leg can move backwards just a bit. And of course the leg moves out quite nicely. She does have a double jointed knee, which bends really nicely. And lastly we have foot articulation and the foot moves up and moves down. And she does not have a rocker. And that's it for the articulation, guys. Now it's time to check out the accessories. Okay, guys, so let's check out now the accessories for Renee. There's a few accessories here. And starting with the alternate head sculpt, this would be the hoodless head sculpt, where her blonde hair is revealed, with some parts of her hair being black. I very much like the spikes on her hair, very very cool. She actually has cell shading in her hair, with blonde, black and even yellow mustard colored parts. Checking out the face, she has a worried expression, and like her focus face on the other head sculpt. Next we have Lord Simultaneous, that's Lord Simultaneous head sculpt the master of time and Renee's teacher. So we have this yelling face with a red transparent face and yellow eyes. Moving on, we have now the down hood. So you can pair it with a hoodless head sculpt. Next, we have the time scepter with a hand grabbing a sun clock, as you can see here. Very, very cool. Next, we have a small scroll that looks ancient, guys. And it's painted in yellow and brown colors and has a thread 
on the middle to wrap up the scroll. Next we have her weapon. It's a grey dagger, guys. And finally, let's check out the alternate hands, which include a pair of fists and the gripping hands, guys. And as you can see here, you can very easily and very nicely slide the dagger in the gripping hand, guys. And that's it for Renee's accessories, guys. Now, let's compare two Renee's. All right, guys, here we have the red Renee and the blue Renee. So here we're doing a comparison between these two amazing figures, guys. And of course, the color is the main difference between them two. But we have a clear distinction in other aspects as well. For example, the boots. For the red René, the boots follow the same pattern of color as the leotard. But in the case of the blue René, her boots are white. In the case of the shoulder guards, for the red René, the shoulder guards are gray, and for the blue René, the shoulder guards are yellow, guys. And of course, the cape is red for the red René and blue for the blue René. So those are the main comparisons, guys. I think they both look absolutely fantastic. If you had to ask me which one I like the most, of course, I would go with Blue Rene, but Red Rene is equally awesome, guys. Okay, guys, so Rene is a time stress, an empress of time. She's the apprentice of Lord Simultaneous, and Rene was a teenager when she appeared in the Mirage comics. She's an ally to the Turtles, and her first time time traveling was when she rebelled against her teacher and she stole Lord Simultaneous Time Scepter and used it to time travel to New York City in 1986, where she met the Turtles and became an ally of the Turtles. And of course, Lord Simultaneous, not happy about her disappearing, he went after her and she had to again time travel to 1406 where they ended up awakening the villain Savanti Romero who almost ended Rene and the Turtles but was stopped by the timely interference of Lord Simultaneous. So Rene is a free spirit, a bit irresponsible but a cool time traveling character nonetheless guys. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I have very much enjoyed reviewing a Mirage line TMNT figure. Let me know in the comments what you think about this figure. Which of those two figures you like the most? The blue variant or the red Rene? As always, give a like. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you next on Alan's Collection.